I think it's invaluable in just giving um, staff and, and students a really good insight into the sorts of impairments that older adults might be facing and how that impacts on, on care and, and how a patient can manage in, in hospital environment. So we've only had it a matter of weeks really, um, so it hasn't had much of an outing yet, but the plan is to make it available to any team that wishes to come and use it and uh, use it on team days and training, uh, just get the best use of it really. I have a lot more sympathy for, for my patients now. It was very impairing, especially the vision. I found that the worst of all. Um, and my hands, actually. Yeah. Trying to pour a drink was yeah. took a lot more skill than yeah. normal. Yeah. But yeah, Good. I wouldn't want to repeat it. No. <laughs> so is it giving you a better understanding mm. of the types of issues that patients might be facing in hospitals, especially yes. being in an unfamiliar it, environment? Yeah. That's, that's what it can be. So distressing for patients. So. Yeah, and I could see how they can cope in their own home because I've learned to adjust. Yeah, because they know somewhere is. Yeah. yeah, but being somewhere new, it'd be a lot more difficult. The brace is actually curved anyway, so it is designed mm. to, to try and force you into an unnatural position to try and simulate an old person's mm. posture. Um, not not all old adults are, are bent forward mm. like that, but it um, does give a give an idea. Um, I found myself trying to lean to one side to overcompensate, so I think I can see again how easy it would be for, especially if it's slippery, for somebody to have a fall, just how easy it is.